The first one is water cycle. The lithosphere is the outer part of the earth, consisting of the crust and upper mantle. And then there is the atmosphere which contain gases surrounding the earth. So in between the atmosphere and the lithosphere, water circulates through the water cycle. Now you must be thinking, what is the use of water cycle? Well, it is because of water cycle, all living organisms are able to maintain life. Because every form of life on earth depends on water in the form of solid, liquid or gas. Let me tell you the entire process of the water cycle in brief. In the first stage, the sun warms the water from the ocean, lakes, ice and soil. When the water is warm, it rises into the air and turns into water vapor. This is called evaporation, where the liquid water is converted into water vapor, which is in gaseous form. The next step is condensation. Water vapor rises up in the atmosphere. At high altitude, the temperature is very low. Because of that, the water vapor changes into very tiny particles of ice or water droplets. When these tiny particles of ice or water droplet come close together, they form clouds. The third step is precipitation. When ice in water droplet turns into clouds, now you have to understand that these clouds move all around the globe and they also grow in size. Actually, when the size is increasing, there will be a lot of water droplets inside. There will be a time when the cloud becomes too heavy to hold these water droplets. That's when it falls back on earth in the form of rain and snow. In the fourth and final step, the water from the rain and snow flows back into the ocean through rivers, lakes and streams. So this is the water cycle in brief.